Okay, now let's pick up from where we left off. I gathered a little bit of resources. And we need to build a construction unit, which takes 20 magnetized ferrite and, nan and nanotubes. So let's take this. And let's stick it where we can use it under shelter. Put, fuel it with carbon. And we will put, we need, what was it? 20 magnetized ferrite. So I'll put 40 ferrite dust. Let's see. 20. So it'll be two of two pure ferrite to one magnetized ferrite. Tempted to build another refiner. So we can do this um, simultaneously. See, notice it says here that I'll get 20. So I'm taking 40 pure ferrite. That will go to 20 magnetized ferrite. Also, we need carbon nanotubes. Those are made with 50 carbon. So you have to have plenty of carbon to do this stuff. I'll put that in the exosuit. Now, if I press Z, it has a check mark next to the 20 ferrite and to the carbon nanotube so we can build the construction unit. Uh, let's be able to use that from the shelter. So let's just stick that next to the base computer. We interact with that using E. So now we need to recover salvage data. See up in the left corner, it says zero salvage data. Uh, this doesn't have the stuff I want to build. Oh, well. Um, let's see. We're going to need solar panels. Well, first we'll get a biofuel reactor to start with. Um, so we'll need two plus whatever the biofuel uh, one. So we'll need three, three salvage data for the teleport module and the biofuel reactor. I don't think we're going to need any more than that. Okay, you hit F to look for buried technology. That one's 208 away. 297. Two oh eight, uh, three oh four now, and uh, two twelve, two ninety two, one 
173. I'll hold E to tag that. That's the one we're going to go for. Let me make sure we have adequate carbon. We're going to build a shelter when we get close to that so we don't have to run back or worry. So, because that should be within our base area. We'll also use this um, this thing here later, uh, Knowledge Stone. Okay, lovely pit. We got to watch out for falling into those. So I'm going to build shelters around my property. And from those shelters, I can mine in cold weather even without many add-ons. All right, let's build build a shelter here. So I'll throw down a floor. Throw down two walls. And a simple flat roof. What do we figure? About 70 carbon and 10 ferrite? Anything we can scan here? We could have went to get magnetized ferrite, by the way, from uh, using the terrain manipulator. So the buried technology is right here. You hold G until you get, look in the upper right hand corner of the screen until it says terrain manipulator. There it is. All right, let's see. Do we see any salvage data close by? Well, does that storm really matter being in the corner here? Um. This one's 375. This one's 377. 320. I think we ought to go back to the airplane after the storm and then judge the distance. Seeing if there's anything I can scan from here. I wish I can rush this storm for you so you don't have to sit through this. Let's see what we can do here. So in our log, we're on find base modules, unearth blueprints. Expand your base with additional base components. Construct a construction research unit and research new components. We, we constructed the research unit. Uh, we're extracting salvage data from buried technology and we will spend them on construction once we get enough of them to do what we want to do. So, yeah, magnetized ferrite is one of the things that this planet principally has. Uh, discoveries, um, you can upload them individually by pressing F. 
Notice it says complete to receive 2,250 nanites. If we get um, nine fauna, nine animals, then we can get an extra 2,250. And you can look and see what you're missing. We've got five of them. Um, several flying were missing. Uh, and an underground one we're missing. Uh, two underground ones. So there's two underground and two flying that we can get. All right, let's make our goal to get to our starship. Uh, we'll pick up carbon on the way. Switch to the mining beam. Because we use carbon to build the thing and some ferrite. So I'll grab carbon and ferrite as I'm heading back. If I see any ferrite. Up. All right, all right. The sentinels will attack you if you keep on mining in front of them. We'll talk more about the sentinels some other time. All right. 292, that's probably going to be our closest. Oh, no, 212. So let's head for that now. I use the E to highlight it so I know where I'm running. Up. Uh, that was stupid. Kind of scan as I go. Now, they don't bother you if you're using the terrain manipulator. But if you're mining, they don't like that. All right, where can I build? I think I'll build right over here. Now we'll switch to the terrain manipulator. I actually, while we're here, let's mine carbon. The carbon we just used. Uh, it's unidentified. Let's identify that first. All right, let's switch to the terrain manipulator. Step out, turn around. Where is it at? It was down here somewhere, huh? There. See that? 
you just aim towards it and we get some more salvage data. Now let's look and see if there's any close to here. Three seventy nine, three fifty seven. Now it looks like the best thing to do would be to head back to the airplane and see what we can buy with what we got. All right. You know what? Let's use the F, the goggles. Locate the airplane, press E to highlight it. I'll switch to the mining beam when I head back. There. So we'll head back to the building and use the computer. Grab some carbon. All right. Switch to the terrain manipulator. See, no laser. Goodness, these sentinels are pretty pesky here. And the construction computer. Analysis unit online, diagnostic, user recover. Okay, we did that. What's buildable technology? Uh, the teleport module. Let's get that. Metal plating, nanotubes, and sodium. And the biofuel reactor. Metal plating, and we have the oxygen. So it looks like we actually have what it takes to make these items. I'll tell you what, let's put a floor All right, buddy, <laughs> you can go ahead. Um, uh, no. Um, There's the reactor. We need metal plating. So tab. All right, press E to analyze. And let's move the rusted metal to the starship. Yeah, we're close enough. Now, I have one salvage data left, huh? Is there anything I want to spend that on? The electrical wiring is zero. Let's save it for the uh, battery, for the battery and then the solar panel. 
All right. Um, build the biofuel reactor. Oh, I forgot the metal plating. So, tab, left click, click on the metal plating. All right, now go back, Z, click on the biofuel reactor. And I'll just stick it here. All right, next item. All right, it's giving us a task to rename the base. All right, so if we're gonna rename the base, let's look and see what the planet has. Um, dioxide, copper, magnetized ferrite. Let's name it dioxide, copper, magnetized ferrite, frost, CR. Uh, uh, let's do F-R-S-T-C-R-Y for frost crystals and left click to accept and let's upload the base. All right, teleport construction. We knew that was coming. We need four metal plating and two carbon nanotubes. Uh, that's like 200 ferrite. All right, yeah, we have enough. Press E. And what else did we need? We needed four metal plates, two nanotubes, and 40 sodium. So let's make two nanotubes. Now Z, and let's stick the base teleport module. You know what, we'll just stick it out here. And let's wire these together. Z, Electrical wiring. Simple construction. Fuel the bio fuel reactor. All right, now we went to the base, so we should be able to the um, space station. So actually, let's do this. Whoops. Um, e on the biofuel reactor. Use S to drop the carbon down to, I don't know. Uh, let's use 50. Click on the teleporter. And Shogawa Orbital, current system, warp. So it works. We can now go to the space station and empty our inventory by selling stuff. Since we had flown to this space station, it was on there. 
Anytime you go to a space station, it'll be listed in your teleport thing. This circle is where you can buy and sell stuff. Sell. So, uh, you know, we could uh, use a reactor to make that into chlorine. All right, well, let's sell the frost crystal, the mordite. I'm going to keep the salt to make that into uh, chlorine. I think it'll be worth more that way. Sell the... All right, I have 69,000. Let's see how much in inventory. All right. Um, b before we return to our base computer, do you shift to run? Well, we'll take that. Looks like, is there a backpack slot? 5,000, I think we need more space. We'll, we'll take that. And you know what? Let's see what upgrades this guy has got. Purchase upgrades. You can also sell them here. Um, we have 200 nanites. Shall we grab a thermal protection module as uh, we're dealing with the cold there? Let's take it. We have the nanites. Um, e to install. All right. And we have two ion batteries we can feed into that. We are now a little better off. We got stuff to do in the cold now. So we have a bit of an advantage in cold weather with that extra protection. What that will do is it will keep my hazard from going down while that shield is up. When that shield runs out, then, my, then it goes to my hazard and then it goes to my life support. All right, and let's head back. And that's how the teleporter works. So now whenever we need dioxide or copper um, or magnetized ferrite, uh, we know where to go. We'll go to my first base. Now let's see what the next task is. It's at the base computer. All right. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry follows. 
Scanner detected unusual broadcasts repeating 16 from, spa from the space station. Warning, end of archive. Records interrupted. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more. I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Leave. All right, by the way, you saw that little square that was on top? That's my shield here. See the square? That's my shield. When that's, the line goes all the way down on the square, my shield will be gone. All right, so now I have to investigate the space station. Follow in the footsteps of the base computer's previous owner. So we are going to go to the space station. I noticed we needed... Um, a couple of things though oh we said we were gonna sell um, chlorine at the space station didn't we so let's take the salt and cook it now before we do that let's see how much the salt is worth um, where's this oh, there it is 27 salt worth 8073 units 8073 units I should have sold the rusted metal. So the salt was worth 8,073 units. So the chlorine is worth less than the salt? Well, that was... Chlorine... 7,826. I don't know. Um, here, let's pick the refiner up in case something happens and we need it. Go in the ship. Now, notice the pulse engine needs tritium and we don't have any tritium. So... Uh, and I want gold for the solar panels when I build those. So we're going to shoot asteroids on the way. Use W to take off. Uh, well, face it towards the sky. Use the mouse to direct it. Uh, use the shift key. to go a little quicker that what is it called a hexagon is the space station I'll use E to highlight it uh, no it's not letting me do that using the shift key now let's shoot these We're getting silver from that. I want gold and tritium. What are we getting from this? Silver. 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 There. Platinum. Actually, I think platinum's worth something. Oh, there's plenty. Use the W to move a little slower. Now we need tritium out of these, and we want gold. There's some tritium. I'd like to have a full stack of tritium, if possible. That fuels the thrusters. Ships and 
I use the shift key to move a little quicker. There's four of them. I really don't want to take on four. Usually you can outrun them. I like to dodge around back and forth a little bit because that should make it harder to hit. We can shoot these on the way. Oops. Three gold. I believe I can warp now. So let's warp. Uh, see to scan. What a terraforming catastrophe is. I don't know, but it has copper, rusted metal, and salt. I use the space key to warp once you get far enough away from them after using the left shift key um, you can use the space bar to warp. Now the blue entrance is usually by the hexagon. So I'll use the shift and the W to go a little slower. Now, my understanding is you don't want to ask the aliens up on the platform about the mysterious sig signal. You want to ask people that land. Shift key to run. So we're not going to talk to anybody yet. We'll talk to people on the dock. But let's see how much this chlorine sells for. Sell. Um. Seven thousand four hundred and fifty-two. I wonder if the sodium, the salt would have been better. Okay. Space bar to fly. Oops. Let's talk to this guy. Ah, oh, missed him. That's frustrating. Maybe we can get it by talking to some of the people up here. Um, because my understanding is once you, you... Let's talk to this guy. I don't use the salvage guy until much later in the game usually. Alright, so let's talk to him and see if he gets the red eye. The life form waits beyond the terminal. They look me up and down and seem to decide I'm not a customer. They do not look helpful. Leave. 
Okay, so... Let's see what kind of gun... Well, let's check... Well, we can grab... You can go in the back room here. Let's talk to people back here. Is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this in every cycle. Don't worry. Everything was paid for a long time ago. It is all quite above board. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this get cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get star started. I will have to decline for now. I do not feel comfortable hiring this gek. All right, well, now we know where he is. I'm not talking any more of these people in here. There's a trade terminal in here. If you search these plants, you'll get carbon. Now, that's not always the case, but sometimes it is. Any planes land? It looks like I missed one again. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of gun we have here. Press E. It's a B class. Look at all the expansion slots. If you compare, it costs almost two and a half million more, but it has 21 slots compared to my six. Uh, the damage and scanner range are clearly better and it comes with a force field. See if any ships landed. What is this? This conflict level one. So I wonder why ships aren't landing. All right. I don't want to waste any more time. We'll talk to the people here up on the other platform. But then... Um, I don't think we'll be able to talk to them again. There's three, four, five, six, seven. There's a good number here, so let's start from the end. The alien looks at me expectantly. They are clearly waiting for something. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. Ask about other travelers. Startled by my question, the life form emits a dramatic squeak, though I do not recognize their words. The shake of their head is unmistakable. Okay, I don't know. Let's try this guy. We haven't learned any words yet. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. 
R U find we left are in red. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Leave. So visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. Visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Speak to the work gec. Just see what the gec holds out a small device. The exact nature of the display is not clear to me, but I recognize the symbol for units alongside an extremely large number. Uh, request dialect help as I don't speak much of the language at all, any. Workek Ebigger tilts their head from side to side as they consider me. They consult a note on their data pad, then present a list of language symbols. Uh, the Gek like to trade, so let's get a trade symbol. Okay, then I click E on him a second time even though he's spoken to. His eyes are bulging, huh? The Gek holds out a small device. The exact nature of the display is not clear to me, but I recognize the symbol for units alongside an extremely large number. Now, the, the dialect help is grayed out, but now I can practice language skills. Work Gek e bigger presses their fingertips together eagerly. I hurry up to think of an appropriate word to say. And I will say traitors. Work Gek e bigger giggles, apparently amused. They look at me sympathetically. Uh, sorry about that, people. Actually, so um, he's visited. Let's look at my milestones, the GEC. So you see my rank is up at the third one there. Um, words learned to of progress is two to get, uh, I need three more to get to the next level. Gek systems, I'll need two more. And missions, I'll need to start doing those to, uh, with the Gek. Viking, oh, I see. So they're neutral at three. Viking, I have no words, none of the stuff for the Viking, and nothing for the Corvax. Let's go back to the base computer. So apparently I only needed to speak to two people. I believe it used to be three people. So I think we'll just speak to the base computer and then we'll stop this um, recording as uh, we'll have made a good amount of progress along, I believe, either this is the baseline or the Artemis line. I think this is the Artemis line. Or it may just be the beginning line, <clears throat> actually the training line. All right, let's go speak to the base computer. 
Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding 16, 16, 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Awakenings reach the decoded coordinates. So the crash ship responded to my commands. Okay, we did that part. Reach the decoded coordinates. So the, uh, the main mission, the crash ship, um, I have repaired the damage and taken it up into space, but the cause of my crash is still a mystery. The secondary mission objective, reach the decoded coordinates. The signal appears to be a set of coordinates on a distress frequency. Follow the signal to locate the source. Oh, I see. Uh, it looks like the signal's on the planet. Uh, you don't mind if we we just run this a little bit longer? Uh, we have tritium now. Oh, I didn't sell this stuff at the space station. And we'll need launch fuel. What we'll, we're gonna, I'm gonna play this a little longer. I apologize if this is getting too long. Go back to the base. We're gonna sell the stuff in the inventory of the ship. Then, uh, if we can get launch fuel, or um, I probably will. Because we're going to need more launch fuel. And then we'll go explore where that signal is from. So, if you go in here... You can switch, go to cell, then click switch, and it's on the Starship inventory. And then we can sell this stuff, uh, the rusted metal, silver, platinum. Um, we'll sell the gold nugget. Oh, crack open with E? Oh, that gave us more gold. Uh, that that will work. Um, let's see if there's anything about launch fuel here. Life support gel. To make Starship launch fuel, we need di 40 dihydrogen and one metal plating. We have 250. We're actually, we're fine with launch fuel. This is not, this is not an issue. Um, and we have a little bit of tritium left over. Okay. We cleared the inventory, little inventory that we had for the spaceship. 
Now what we'll do is we'll go back and we will follow that signal. Sorry about uh, having to do an extra warping. These take a few minutes. Since the signal appears to be on the planet, I decided I wanted to explore that. I wanted to save leaving the planet for another episode. Okay, that red mark is to the right. You can see it in the corner of the screen. So we go, I will go to outer space. You see it pointing right down. See the pause? Then I'll target it. And use the space bar to warp. Nope. All right, let's go higher up. Uh, we're close anyway. I'll use the shift key. Now I'm going to aim a little below. All right, S to slow it down. I'm going to circle around a little bit. You see the green? I'm going to land over there. It's not exactly where that is, but it's... Usually, those directions are approximate. And we are at the right place, you see? So that was a good guess. E. Log damage, partial records available. Left click. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log. Blinking, awaiting input. Request log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found.
Uh, recommendation, install hyperdrive. A acquire components, purchase microprocessors, refine chromatic metal, finalize installation. I'll right click. Um, shall we glance and see what's at this freighter? We'll just check one out. F. There's a cargo pod at 62. At freighters, you look for cargo pods. Where is it at? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll try this one. All right. You notice the damage steel? Go to my mining beam. Then I switch to the terrain manipulator, point it in the direction of the symbol, and there would be the front. Now you press E and I would, it would take chromatic metal to open this door. Some radiation comes out to damage you. I don't have chromatic, uh, wait, do I have chromatic metal? I don't have any extra chromatic metal, so we're not, we're not doing that right now. All right, for launch fuel, make a metal plate. It's kind of contrived to make me run out of launch fuel when I had a full, I had a full thing. That's, all right, anyway, let's, we'll install the hyperdrive in the next episode. We're just going to go back to the base. Let me know if you see anything of interest here. Uh, we do not want to hit... Here's our base. Thank you for watching.